Okay, I'm pretty sure I've said this before in other videos, but I'll just mention it again. But um, hybrid characters still need, in order to be more viable, or viable really, is that we need more stat based hybrid sets. And we have New Moon, we have Shackle Breaker, and NA Axiom, and a few other sets that can be probably considered hybrid, but they. They don't compete with some of the stat um, based, or not even stat based. They don't compete compete with some of the sets that Zoss are uh, making every year. And that's another thing about what Zoss is doing is they keep. I don't want to call it a gimmick, but it is kind of gimmicky. But everything that they create has to be better than the last thing in order to incentivize you buying the DLC and. The power creep that people have complained about in the game, I think is being created by Zoss and maybe they are aware of it or they are not aware of it, but they keep creating proc sets that are stronger and more powerful with, with each release. And it really makes it so that, I think, I think New Moon Acolyte was the first big jump when they first came out with New Moon Acolyte that was like, okay, that's the new thing that everybody must have and then it was like titan born and then it was stuns and and um or titan born and stuns at the same time both of those were pretty strong and it seems like they just keep upping i don't know what changed but somebody there just keeps thinking it's a good idea to just ramp up the power of monster sets and and, and, and player sets and not really stat based sets though mostly procs and there's some power creep going on there and the hybrid sets are being left in the dust though and so um, another thing that but anyway besides that though hybrids still have a problem with putting weapon and spell damage on the jewelry which normal pure builds can do they can put sustain on the armor um, and yeah or, or even on the Munda stone they'll just get sustained as the Munda stone since they only have to focus on magic of regen or stamina regen but hybrids have to worry about both and so we tend to have to put our sustain on our jewelry and on our sets um, but mostly we have to try to get the damage out of our sets and that leaves us not being able to really build defensively as much um, we have to compromise more on the defensive side the hybrid characters also have like I said they can't put the damage on the jewelry they can't put a infused um, weapon damage or an infused spell damage because they're still going to basically um, lose out on they're still going to lose out on the same amount of damage that a pure build would get but if there was like a if there was a rune or an enchantment to give you weapon and spell damage right and you can slap that on your jewelry the same way you can get the tri stat recoveries um, but even the weapon and spell damage enchantment would still be sort of underpowered because if they made it to the same strength as the regular weapon damage or spell damage enchants then of course people would everybody would be probably using those um, so I mean you, you kind of have to accept that it's never going to be quite as strong but it would still be better than it is right now because we're limited in what what damage we can get out of our out of our builds with the hybrid um, since we have to sustain both pools magicka and stamina and if you and if you're not struggling with stamina or magic sustain like on to sustain both but then you're probably not really I don't know maybe you, your your character that you've chosen has really good sustain on one side but typically you're still going to struggle with some sustain I think in my opinion and if you're not maybe you're just not using both pools equally as hybrids or mostly should do um, so you know I mean, unless you just want to be completely gimped on one side I mean you're already gimped as a hybrid but you're going to be, be even more gimped and so another thing that we can use besides the the uh, stat based sets and the 
um, enchantments or the glyphs are our potions. We need weapon and spell power potions as well, or weapon and spell crit potions. Um, that would be a great help. Instead of having, like some classes don't have major brutality and major sorcery built into the class. So you have to pretty much pick, like, you have to just choose which potion you're going to drink. You're either going to drink the stamina, um, not the stamina, but the uh, weapon, um, major brutality potion, or you're going to drink the major sorcery potion, but you can't have both. But if we did, and it seems like such an easy thing to make, you know, just give us weapon and spell power potions. Do that. It's awesome. Um... We need that. Hybrids need that. So, some classes give you both, and those are really good classes to hybrid on, in my opinion. Dragon Knight is, uh, you know, it has that buff, but at the same time, you also have to give up, sustain some, because they have expensive, expensive skills. And hybrids already have trouble sustaining. It's really just, it's really hard on the sustain. Um, so. Dragon Knights really have to, they have to, uh, what do you call it, uh, they have to sacrifice a lot of damage and survivability to be a hybrid. Necromancer that you see me playing, um, I don't sacrifice as much sustain because I think the sustain on my Necro is pretty good, but I, I have trouble building for damage you know I mean I can get some damage but it's not the same amount of damage that I would get as just a pure stamina build or pure magic build even um, you know that's just it's just a little bit would help those three things I think and we would be in pretty good the hybrids would be in, in a decent shape it'll never be as good as a pure build but it'll be competitive. So, that's all. Thanks for listening.